Welcome back to another episode of Camping Gear TV. I'm Josh. I'm Ben. And today we're marking another one off the list. And or something like that. Yeah, by marking it off the list, we're actually marking it on the list. Oh, the yes. famous water bottle list. Yeah, yeah. Because we're looking at another water bottle. And just when you think we just when you think you've seen them all. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. Just when you think you've seen them all, I bet you haven't seen this guy here. This is the vapor element and what's interesting about this water bottle is that it's it's not like a hard plastic it's like a flexible bag yeah, it like actually a platypus kind of yeah 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 and like a like a bladder yeah maybe. kind of sure yeah. yeah we're gonna get into some really gray area here because we're gonna mark this off the water bottle list but what what this company knows this Can is, do it right now I think we should wait oh we should wait to have this discussion this is called the anti-bottle. All right. Because it's not a solid bottle. It's a foldable water bottle. Huh. So uh -huh. Uh, it's, a, it's a half liter water bottle. And this comes from, the company is Vapor. Yeah. And their website is vapor.us. You're going to want to go over there and check them out. They got a couple different styles of this water bottle. It's spelled with a U, right? Yeah. Right. V, the company, V-A-P-U-R. Clever. Um, let's see here. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, it, the bottle is $9.99 at their site. $9.99. That's less than I thought it would be. Yeah, you can actually get it on Amazon. I just checked for $8.23. So not a bad little not a bad little deal. Half, it, it's got BPA, right? No, this one is BPA free, unfortunately. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, hmm. so if you're in the market for a good BPA bottle, look elsewhere. This one's BPA free. All right. Um, it is constructed of three layers of ultra durable plastic. It is pretty durable. I don't think you're gonna pop holes in this thing unless you have a knife and you're making a stabbing motion towards the bottle. All right. So I think this it will actually hold up pretty well. Uh, the innermost layer is made from FDA approved polyethylene, which is then bonded to two layers of nylon for strength and durability. Mm, it, can it, I see it, it? Yeah, it is pretty. It is pretty sturdy. I don't think you're gonna pop Seems it. Seems like it. The inner layer is odor, taste, and stain resistant, so it can be safely reused again and again and again. It's also made in the USA. Without washing? No, well, I mean, you, you need to wash it. Oh. But it, you, can, you can wash it in the dishwasher, which is nice. You know, you kind of, what you're going to do is blow a little air into the top and you'll stick it on your, your top rack. Right. You know, you can also, uh, you can also wash it in the sink, but you know, they, you know you're going to want to wash it by hand and use a bottle washer to really get everything out. Are you, cool. You're using it as a level now, like trying yeah. To... I'm sorry, I got distracted. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but it's actually it's kind of nifty. It has this little carabiner here that you can use to clip on a pack or your belt. You know, if if you're one of the cool kids, because I always just walk around town like this. You know. Once again, as we saw with uh, another bottle that had the clip, I forget what it was. I think it was a thermos. I mean, that is G. And this is how I roll at the clubs. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave it at that. Yeah, yeah just so if you want, if you want the ladies to be throwing themselves at you on your jack, if you will. Right. That's uh, that's how you gotta do it. Yeah. Another interesting thing is that this is freezable, which I find to be most interesting. You can use it, so then you could freeze it the whole thing and use it as an ice pack. Oh snap! Right. You can also fill it halfway and freeze it. Yeah. And then fill the other half with liquid, you know, in the morning right. before you go out and right. have a, a, a ice cold beverage. Wow. Yeah. So, and what makes this unique then is like towards the end of the day when, you know, you're, you drank all your water. You should have done that in the water, in the bucket. Oh, I didn't even think about that. I'm such an idiot. Yeah. Where's it at? I, I, I'm seriously debating on stopping the episode and going to get it. Let's go get it. Is it in, there? Is it in that room over there? Can, I think it is. You hold down the fork. All right. And let me go check. I think that one of the main reasons why I like this water bottle is because of the various shades of blue complemented so nicely by the shades of, I don't know if you would say neon green, maybe a lime green. It all works very well together. Um, you got this carabiner, you got this top part here, you know, fold this thing up. Oh, what do we have here? Hold on. Oh. I, I'm going to admit, I don't think I did a very good job while you were gone. Oh, really? No, not very good. And a lot of people tuned out, you think? I, I may have lost some people there. Sure. All right. 
Um, so what I was saying right before Josh so uh, elegantly reminded me that we need the water bucket. It's been around for a while. Yeah, it has not, but it's, it's great to have it back. Once you're done, then this water bottle becomes foldable. So not only is it lighter because it has the yeah. liquid in it, which any light or any water bottle would be that way. But this is going to take up less space. You know, if you got a good date, you know, if you're if you're out on a hike and you got a day pack, less space in your pack, which is really really good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So and uh, did I say earlier this is made in the USA? Um, no, I don't you know? think so. And, and we no. like we like products made in the USA. We always try and support them. It's always even, a good thing. Even though I uh, where at you would think they make it. Didn't say. No, uh, I, didn't, I didn't say that. Right. I'm going to take a guess and say and narrow it down to the lower 48. I'm thinking Mexico. Okay. Yeah. Mexico is actually outside the U.S. though. Oh. I yeah. thought it was basically the same thing. It may be one day, yeah. but unfortunately for, for right now it is. Okay. It is its own entity as far as countries go. Um, but I, I don't think, I'm going to say that it's made in the lower 48, not in Alaska or Hawaii. Okay. So that, that's, that's how I feel about it. Kind of a cool little design too, you know. I, I heard you talking about the color scheme and the stripes and stuff, and so you know that kind of makes it appealing. That's what I talked about. Yeah. So, but yeah. what it really comes down to is at eight twenty three, I actually feel like this is a worthwhile investment and a kind of unique water bottle. Yeah. I think this works really well if you're out on a on a day hike. Yeah. I think it's a pretty decent thing. I don't know if I'm super excited to take this with me on a multi day trip. Um, Why not? I don't know. I just I feel Durability? like yeah, possibly. I mean, I don't think this is gonna really pop, but and you know, I guess maybe you could. I just see it like one of the one of the key features of it is being able to roll it up and save space. Mm -hmm. And on a multi-day trip, once it's empty, you're gonna need to refill it up again anyway. Maybe. So you know, but I don't know. I mean, it certainly would work. Seems like another convenient option to get some more water on your pack. Oh, that's true. You know? Yeah. You got a couple bottles on the side, and then you got this clipped onto the back or something. Sure, and bring sure. It along. Yeah. And actually, this, I, is the, this is it going down the trail. Right. Okay. You know? What's it like coming back up from the trail? The other way? Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. That looks great. Yeah. So, if you want to look like this going down the trail, Head over to vapor.us, grab one of these, and like I said, you know, at Amazon 823, I just I think it's I think it's a good investment. Yeah. You know, I, I like it, and, and and let me let me reiterate, I don't think durability is an issue on a multi-day trip. Yeah. You know, I think you know th th it doesn't matter if you go out two days or one day or four days. You know, the bottle's going to work for you. Okay. So I just like the idea of on a one-day trip when I'm getting close to not needing water anymore as my trip is ending, and now yeah. I don't have something nearly as big to carry. Kind of nice half liter little bottle yeah the anti bottle so do we still mark it up there i think we do i think yes. we got it i think we got yeah. to do it we got to mark it on the list i'll let you do it that means we are at the lucky number 13 over our little two and a half year endeavor here 13 water bottles 13 it's good so it's good. Uh, we're Very gonna nice. see if we can add to that list shortly um I just I wonder where the final number is going to stop at. I'm going to peg it somewhere around 82. 82? Yeah. What do you think? You like the over or under? If I put the over under at 82, are you picking the over or the under? I'm picking the over. You are? Yeah. Oh, man. Maybe I, maybe I was a little conservative with yeah. this. So anyways, like I said, vapor.us, the vapor element, the anti-bottle. Go pick up one today. Improve today. And improve your life. Yeah. Come back, catch us next time. More great episodes and the latest and greatest in outdoor gear. But until then, he's Josh. This is our boss, Gary. And my name is Ben. We are CampingGearTV.com. Catch you next time.